In slide 9, we have already seen what test activities need to be carried out at a high level in order to meet defined testing objectives. Here, we will cover how these activities are organized into different phases of test life cycle, which are test planning and control, test analysis and design, test implementation and execution, evaluating exit criteria and reporting, and finally, test reporting. It is important to note that while these phases are sequential, they are also interactive in nature. For example, during test execution, we might realize that we need to go back to test design to introduce more test cases or test data before we can continue the test execution process. It might also happen that during evaluation of exit criteria, it might be decided to execute some more tests before application can be considered fit for release. Hence, all phases interact with each other and might transition from one to the other based on the needs of the project.